everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. Um, I thought I would just sit down and do something a little bit different for today's video. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. Just kind of like a not with me video where I answer some of your guys' questions. Um, I pulled some questions from Instagram. I've seen a few other people do videos similar to this. Well, Alex's innovations, that's like the most recent one that I can think of that comes to my mind. So yeah, I'm actually just working on a custom order at the moment. Um, it's actually going to be another Spirited Away piece. If you've seen my Instagram, uh, you saw that I did a No Face Friendship Bracelet. Okay, so I guess I'll just go ahead with the first question. I don't really know. I don't know. I've never done this before, so here we go. Um, so the first question is, how old are you? Um, I'm 25. Um, <laughs> it's actually really funny. I actually just started a job at like a retail store. Um, and one of the girls came up to me and she's like, how old are you? <laughs> and, I, and I told her I was 25. And she's like, okay, because you look like you could be like 18 or like 30. I was like, oh, okay. So I don't really know what that means. But yeah, a lot of people ask how old I am. Uh, I'm 25 and I'll be turning 26 in a couple months. So crazy. Okay, next question. How long have you been making bracelets? Um, well, I've been making, like, bracelets for a long time. Like, probably since I was 10, like, when I would go camping with my friends. Um, she showed me how to make friendship bracelets. But it wasn't like this. Like, it <laughs> it was, like, way different. It was, like, this method where you get a bunch of embroidery floss and you tie it in a, tie it, like, in a big circle. Like, you tie the ends together and we would wrap it like around our our toes, like our feet. And then we would like weave the bracelet like by holding the loops on our fingers and then like weave it together. Have you guys ever done that before? Because that's kind of where it started for me. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I don't know if people do that still or if um, that was just something we did. Um, so yeah, does that answer your question? No, okay. <laughs> so if we're going based off of that then like 15 years uh but I actually started making friendship bracelets like the ones I make now when I was about 15 or 16 when I was in high school so I would say closer to like 10 or 11 years I really hope I don't mess up the pattern because I'm like talking and nodding at the same time I'm sure I will but that's okay uh, the next question is, how do you balance your social life with bracelet making? Um, well, there's a very simple trick to this, is uh, don't have a social life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but seriously, I don't really have a social life. I'm a very introverted person. Um, honestly, like, quarantine was not that hard for me, <laughs> like, to stay away from people because uh, I love staying away from people already, so. Um, I do make time for friends, though, like the few friends I do have. It's hard, though, because, like, bracelets take a long time to make, and, like, a lot of people don't realize how long they actually take, and it can be very time-consuming, so just make sure that you're dedicating some time to, uh, you know, talk to your family and hang out with your friends, drink some water, you know, eat some food, take some breaks. I know when I don't take enough breaks, my wrist starts to feel very, like, carpal tunnel-y. Like, it feels bad in my wrist. <laughs> do people do, like, warm-ups before they start nodding? Does anyone do that? If you do that, let me know, because maybe I should start doing that. Um, okay, next question. How much do you not a day? Um, well, that's kind of a good segue, actually. Um, I would say... Um, it really depends. Like, if I have custom orders, uh, sometimes I'll work a little bit harder because I want to get it done. Um, but usually it's about, I want to say, like, four or five, six hours a day. And I do like lots of different kind of nodding. I do macrame, I do this. So yeah, I would say about four or five hours a day. 
I also spend a lot of my time um, on social media promoting my store. I've actually just gotten into the Twitter community. The art community on Twitter has been very welcoming. Uh, it's a good place to be. Um, I'm just coming to a color change here. So I'm about to expose myself a little bit here. This is what my floss organizer looks like right now. Um, yeah, kind of embarrassing. Anyway, I'm just looking for a, a good purple to use. And yes, I'm, I'm making no face again, if you couldn't tell. I just want to get the right purple. Like sometimes I make a bracelet and I use the colors that are on the pattern and then I see an actual picture of what I'm making. I'm like, okay, so that wasn't right. That was the wrong color. I think we'll just use this purple, the same purple that I used for the last one. Oh, and if you guys are wondering how I do color changes, is it's literally just like the same thing you do. You can add as many colors as you want, like you just tie this off to the side. How did this get so crooked? What? Okay, whatever. And then, <clears throat> I kind of just will pull this black out of the way. And I'll just add the purple in there. Look at that. Um, okay, anyways, moving on with the Q&A. Now that you've seen my exciting <laughs> color switch. Wasn't that fun? Look, I'm switching again. Woohoo! Oh, I love this purple. It's so pretty. Okay, um, another question I get asked a lot is what is this wooden thing that I'm working on? And this is actually a wooden frame that my stepdad made for me so that I could kind of suspend my knots on this thing here um, and tie my bracelets because I used to just pin everything to like a cushion. <laughs> and once I started making bigger alpha pieces, it kind of became not possible to do that. And I don't really like knotting on flat surfaces. Like I find I can't get the knots quite as tight as I'd like them to be. Um, so yeah, he made me like this little uh, wooden thing. Um, I do have a few prototypes made of like more portable versions of this. Um, they've been made for a while, I'm not gonna lie. I've just been really been slacking on like promoting them or like posting them anywhere. Um, but please let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Like, they're actually so cool. They're basically just like this. Like, this is a clamp situation just holding my bracelet in place here. And I have all these wooden mini dowels that I can stick in here so I can just tie off my colors and just add them in. It's pretty cool. So yeah, maybe, um, I've been meaning to sell a couple of them. So if that's something you would want, then let me know. Um, another question I got asked a lot is where do I buy the wooden dowels I use for uh, my tapestries? And the answer to that question is Walmart. <laughs> I buy all my wooden dowels at Walmart. Um, I've seen them in like the Dollar Tree though. And like just literally any craft store or dollar store in the craft section, they will like nine times out of ten have those wooden dowels. So super cheap, super easy to find. Oh, see, I knew this was gonna happen. I was talking and I got all distracted and I went one too far. So just undo that real quick. All right, now we're back on track. Um, that's honestly all the questions I have. <laughs> I was uh, trying to gather questions for a Q&A and not that many people responded as you can see so if you'd like a longer Q&A next time or if there's a question that was uh, not asked that you would like the answer to just leave me a comment in the comment section um so yeah I think once I finish up this row I'm gonna wrap up this video and um maybe post it maybe not it's maybe not we'll see probably not
Okay, well, I'm just gonna stop the video here. In regards to my last video, the alpha shaped end tutorial, um, I will be making another one with an odd number of strings. A lot of you guys said that you wanted to see that, so I will deliver that to you uh, probably next week, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. I hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good night whenever you're watching this video. I just hope it's good.